When astronauts first landed on the moon more than 50 years ago, they went there in a single shot. A Saturn V rocket launched the Apollo Command and Service Module and the Lunar Lander, which entered into a low orbit around the moon. The lander then detached and descended to the surface. After 22 hours in the moon dust, the Apollo 11 astronauts climbed into the lander's ascent stage and returned to the command module for the trip back to Earth. But now NASA working on the next step. Moon Colonization NASA is spearheading the initiative to establish the Gateway, a space station in lunar orbit. About one-sixth of the size of the International Space Station, this new outpost will be developed, serviced, and utilized in collaboration with international and commercial partners. The Gateway will be Mission Control Center for Operations on the Moon, also a science laboratory to test some new technologies. Besides, the Lunar Gateway will be a rendezvous location for exploration of the surface of the Moon. When fully assembled, the Gateway will include modules for scientific research and living quarters for crews of for astronauts. They will be able to live and work on the Gateway for up to three months at a time, occasionally traveling to the lunar surface to conduct science and test some new things. Eventually, these missions could last longer to prepare for the deeper space missions of the future. Unlike the International Space Station, the Gateway will not be crewed continuously, though it will be inhabited at least once a year. As an artificial intelligence-based robotic system, Canadarm3 will be able to tend to the Gateway when no humans are on board, including operating science experiments aboard the lunar outpost. Getting to the Moon requires a powerful launch system able to pull away from Earth's strong gravitational field. NASA's Space Launch System is a new type of rocket that will carry a maximum of four astronauts to the area around the Moon. Like the International Space Station, the Gateway will be assembled in stages using both NASA and commercial launch vehicles. And recently NASA has chosen SpaceX Falcon Heavy for the launch of the first two elements of its Lunar Gateway. These elements are the power and propulsion element and the habitation and logistics outpost will launch together in 2023. Other modules will be added afterwards. The whole contract with SpaceX is valued at $331.8 million for the launch and other mission-related costs. However, just like every space project, Lunar Gateway and the whole Artemis program will cost a lot of money. Of course, we don't know exactly how much, but NASA announced that the Artemis program can cost up to $35 billion of which Lunar Station will cost about $340 million. But despite the price, Artemis program and the Lunar Gateway is going to be a really huge and exciting thing, which will give us a lot of knowledge on the further mission, especially Mars colonization.